Welcome to Narajai Technologies, this is Vikram. So, in last session, uh, we seen how we could able to share data between uh, controllers with respect to scope object and as well as root scope object. Today, let us discuss about expressions. Expressions are uh, same as normal JavaScript expressions, okay. We are using these expressions, we can able to bind model objects without help of directives, okay. So, uh, in our few uh, earlier examples, we have seen that how we can bind a model object into the view, okay. For example, if you take an input, we will use ngifn model and we will bind some model underscore name, okay. If it is a view element, something like label, we will take help of ngifn bind and we will bind the specific model object. Here with the expressions, we can able to replace this specific binding without help of this particular ngifn bind, we can able to bind a model object in the view, okay. So, how we can able to do it? So, expression when it comes to angular js can be provided in double curly braces. Okay. In between the double curly braces, we need to provide our model underscore object name. Okay. Well, so in this way, we can able to bind the specific model object. Let us do not waste the time, straight away jump to an example and see how we could able to, how these specific expressions will work in our Angular applications. Okay. So, first let us import angular framework which is available script is rc is equals to node underscore modules slash angular slash angular dot min dot js. So, our angular core module is imported into our application, okay. Let us create first the uh, angular uh, implementations, later we will see how we can able to bind them into the view. Okay. So, let me create angular dot module as usual, if we require any type of custom implementation, at least we require one module in angular framework. So, let us make the module name as my app okay. and make a double curly braces and this we could able to inject the dependency modules information. Okay. As of now, we do not have any kind of dependencies for, the, for our application, so we can leave it as empty. Then use the chaining mechanism and provide controller. Give a controller name CDRL function inject a scope object. Okay. So, here we have one controller, okay. uh, we just implemented a module and we just provided a controller implementation in that. Now, let us create a kind of student data, uh, student object data in this. Okay, and we will try to bind this particular student object data into the view. So, let me take scope dot. So, make it as first name Naresh, give some role number make it as full name. So, in a JSON object, as we, all, we, we can see here, we just provided uh, four properties. Out of those four properties, uh, three properties are pointing to data. But we have an option that in a JSON object, we could able to put the functions also. So, let me create a function here. Inside the function, let us concatenate first name and last name, okay. So, that uh, whenever I am calling the full name of this uh, student, so that it will return the complete name which is concatenation of first name and last name. So, if we want to get this particular first name and last name, we can make use of scope dot student dot first name space plus and scope dot student dot last name. Okay. 
So, he had to make it a binding uh, when we are making I mean when we call this particular first name we will try to use something like uh, student dot first name into the view, but this particular first name need to be pointed to some data because uh, full name uh, sorry the full name need to be pointed to some data because the full name is a function type. So, whatever the data we just concatenated uh, inside the function let us make it written. So, whenever we are calling the full name function of the student JSON object, so the function will return concatenation of first name and last name there we go. So, now we are good with this. So, let us try to bind this uh, module controller and model objects in the view. So, as usual to bind the module we can use ng hyphen app my app then bind the controller using ng hyphen controller make it my CTR. Then bind the model objects. So, th these are something like straightforward. So, we need to show up the data in the view. So, we can take help of first name. Earlier we will use something like label ng hyphen bind is equals to student dot first name. We can do something like this. Okay. But with the help of uh, our expressions, we do not require the directives. As usual, I said, what we can do is we can provide something double curly braces like this, and we can directly provide the model object student dot first name. So, in capital. Okay. Now, in the similar way, we can able to bind the other model objects also. Let us make it as last name, roll number. And then we can say uh, full name. So, student dot full name. Okay. So, like this we can able to bind, but the full name uh, is a uh, I mean function type. So, I am just calling it as a reference. Okay. So, let us see first what is happening here. Let us execute the application and see oh, what is going to be happen. Okay. Later, uh, we will fix up the specific issue. So, let open with Google Chrome. So, there we go. You are able to see the data Naresh student 1001 and then we just made the full name uh, as a reference call, but where it is pointing to a function. So, the function is returned over here. Okay. So, uh, I mean uh, we already know how we could able to make it to get the data simply make a call like this that is it. Okay. So, that it will return the specific data and we can able to see this. Okay. So, the expressions we can able to use in our applications to uh, view uh, some kind of uh, I mean to bind a kind of data to the view elements. Okay. It is view purpose only. Okay. At the same time we can able to use the expressions to validate data also. Uh, something like if you want to uh, provide a dynamic uh, classes uh, or uh, something like that I mean uh, based on some validations if you want to put uh, I mean append classes or something like that, we can able to use expressions there. Okay. Then if we already have the directives, then what is the use case of expressions? I mean what is the primary difference between directives and expressions? Okay. So, well let us see that. So, let us make, uh, let me uh, bind something, uh, okay. HR. Okay. Let me bind uh, the full name here with respective to we will use uh, a directive here or uh, something I mean uh, instead of full name we will just go with the first name let us see how we can able to bind that. So, label use ng and bind is equals to student dot. So, here the first name which we binded uh, using directive uh, at the same time we used the expression also to bind the first name. Okay. So, let us make the difference between these two things uh, how those things will happen. So, you can see nothing difference is there. both are showing the same data. Okay. But the directive binding uh, we used a kind of directive called ngf and bind uh, so that we could able to um, I mean view some data using the directive. Okay. We have an advantage when it comes to directive that we can able to provide some kind of other directives also utilized on uh, when we bind uh, some data using a directive that is one kind of advantage we have. Second advantage is we have an option that we could able to design our custom directives. 
So, on load or uh, uh, on compilation or post compilation, uh, if you want to do some kind of operations, uh, those things also can be done using our custom directives. We have few properties uh, uh, when it comes to direct custom directive implementations. Using those uh, properties, we could able to provide a dynamic features can be I mean uh, through, uh, through which we could able to inject some kind of functionality into our uh, views and those functionalities can be executed by AngularJS based on the uh, I mean the specific property. For example, if you use the link property of AngularJS uh, directive which is going to be executed post compilation of a, a directive. Okay. Uh, if you are using compile property of a uh, custom, I mean uh, directive implementation which is going to be executed, I mean we have other two properties in that, one is pre and the one is post, pre is going to be executed uh, pre compilation of the directive, post is going to be executed uh, post compilation of the directive, okay. So compile post is equal to link, okay. So both compile post and link is going to be executed post compilation of a directive. Okay. So, what is the compilation of directives? Uh, everything I already explained in my previous sessions, uh, my uh, second session or something like that. So, just go through the specific video and you will get some uh, specific idea about that one. And we are going to discuss about the compilation process in a detailed way uh, when we are uh, discussing about the custom directives. Okay. So, we have a lot of options when we are using the directives. So, uh, when a specific directive we use it to bind a, uh, bind some model object along with the directive we could able to use other directives too. Okay. When it comes to expressions we do not have the specific option. Okay. So, we can say the directives are something like uh, two way data binding. So, we could able to use some, uh, some kind of uh, manipulations to edit the specific data by using uh, some kind of event directives so that we can call a function inside the controller or uh, uh, we can make this particular uh, binding uh, uh, with respect to input element and we can able to make the changes so that the data will get updated automatically. But when it comes to the expressions, we cannot able to make such kind of changes inside the view, it is not possible. Okay. Uh, expressions are uh, a kind of uh, static bindings we can say, uh, which will work out in one way data binding. So, if something is uh, make changes at our controller, those changes can be applied to the view. But in the view, we cannot able to make changes to the model objects which are binded using expressions. Okay? So, expressions are useful to show the data, but they are not useful to update the data. Okay. So, that is the primary difference we will find. So, let us make that such kind of that particular difference instead of label what we can do is we can make use of input. Okay. Remove this. Okay. Now, if you reload you can see okay, I just made it as ng bind instead of ng bind we need to use ng model my mistake. So, now, if you update the data here, obviously, the data is getting updated inside uh, the expressions also. Okay? As because of when I am updating the data of a model object in my view, obviously, the data is going to be updated in the controller also. Through controller, wherever we use the, uh, the specific uh, same model object inside the view, in all the places, the data is getting updated. Okay? So, uh, it is it's a, it's a kind of uh, mechanism of data binding. We already discussed about this in so many uh, previous sessions. Okay. So, here when it comes to the directives, we have an option to update the data inside the view, but when it comes to this particular update in the sense edit the data I mean to say, but when it comes to this particular uh, expressions, the data will get updated if the model object data is updated through some other source like controller or uh, some kind of directives. Okay. But by expressions itself, we cannot able to update the data inside our views understand right. So, these are we can say static binding uh, something like we can say like that and these are we can say something like dynamic binding. So, the dynamic bindings uh, will make uh, a kind of uh, uh, I mean uh, we will get a feature something like uh, future editability by the end user. Okay. So, if you want to show the data something like reportings or uh, something views okay, uh, viewing some data we can able to make use of the expressions like this. It will make easy uh, to make the development. Okay. But if you are uh, collecting some data or if you want to update some existing records, there we cannot able to make use of the expressions. Instead of that, we could able to make use of the directives. 
okay. That is the basic difference between expression and directive, okay. Along with this, when it comes to expressions, we have an advantage that we could able to make some kind of arithmetic operations too, okay. So, let us take here, I just provided full name as a function, instead of that I am not interested like this, rather than that I just want to use first name, okay. So, that I could able to provide a operation, math operation here inside the specific expression itself, like this also we can do, okay. So, using expressions we could able to make uh, some kind of arithmetic operations, nothing is going to be changed over here, let me make change over here, so that, okay. Now, you can see, still it is going to show up the same data, okay. So, we could able to perform some math operations uh, using our expressions, okay. That is another advantage we will find when it comes to expressions, okay. So, that is it guys, this is all about expressions, thank you. Mm -hmm.